Learn English Classroom presents Greetings, Module 1, Lesson 2. Thank you for joining me today. When you meet someone, how do you greet your friends? Hi, how's it going? How do you greet your boss or co-workers? Is it the same? Hello, I am Dr. Green. Listen to these two men greet each other. Are they casual or formal? Hi, my name is Mark Wiles. Hello, I'm Carlos Rivera. Mark starts the conversation being more formal. They're wearing professional business suits, so they're probably meeting each other for the first time. Carlos Rivera is more casual and so he is setting a friendly tone. Now you practice. Listen to the dialogue and speak. You can pause the video or rewind it and practice as many times as you need. Hi, my name is Mark Wiles. Hello, I'm Carlos Rivera. Listen to this conversation between Tom and Carla. Is it formal or casual? How do you know? Hello, I'm Tom. What's your name? I'm Claudia. Hi, Claudia. Nice to meet you. Tom is very casual because he uses the short form. I'm Tom. What's your name? And nice to meet you. He even leaves off the it's when he says, nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. Instead, he says, nice to meet you. They are in an office too, but Tom is speaking casually. This means that they must be at the same level and working as a team. Now you practice. Listen and repeat each part of the dialogue. Hello. I'm Tom. What's your name? I'm Claudia. Hi, Claudia. Nice to meet you. In English, we have casual, short form speech. We use it when we know the person well or when we're on the same level and will be working closely with that person. The long form of speech is formal and more professional. It is used when we meet someone for the first time and when we greet people who are in a higher position or to show respect. We also use the long form in written format. I'm Mike. What's your name? I am Mike. What is your name? My name's Sylvia. My name is Sylvia. Listen to the dialogue. Decide who is speaking. Is it photo A, B, or C? What's your name? Susan. Hi, Susan. I'm your new teacher. My name is Teacher Sally. Of course, this is photo A. Teacher Sally uses informal speech to greet her students. Susan uses her name, not I am or I'm Susan, because she may be shy or still learning how to greet adults. Teacher Sally uses my name is Teacher Sally, a formal full sentence to help teach the students how to greet other adults. Try again. Listen to the dialogue. Is it photo A, B, or C? Hello, I'm Mary Green. I'm Klaus Springer from Frankfurt. Nice to meet you. There is a strong accent on this dialogue. The speech is very formal, so it must be photo C. Klaus Springer is from Frankfurt, which is in Germany. English is probably his second language. They are in professional business suits and are meeting each other for the first time, 
It looks like in an airport. Try again. Which photo is it? A, B, or C? I'm Mike. What's your name? My name's Sylvia. Sylvia, nice to meet you. This dialogue is very casual. Mike says, I'm Mike. What's your name? It is photo B. They are eating in a restaurant and Mike is introducing himself to the waitress. Everyone is casual and friendly in this dialogue. Let's review. I want you to pause the video and put this conversation together in order. It looks like the guy on the left does most of the talking. Can you put it together? Now let's check your work. Listen to the dialogue. Hello. I'm Steven. What's your name? I'm Alan. Hi, Alan. Nice to meet you. Did you put the conversation together correctly? Steven starts the conversation with a greeting. Hello, I'm Steven. He's using casual speech to make the other person feel more comfortable. He asks, What's your name? The guy on the right says, I'm Alan. And friendly Stephen says, Hi Alan, nice to meet you. One thing I want to point out, Stephen says, Hi Alan, even though we are into the dialogue. Why does he do that? Many people do this to repeat the other person's name, to let the other person know that they're listening but also to help themselves to remember the name of the person they are meeting. So Stephen knows that by repeating Alan's name, he is putting Alan's name in his long-term memory. Now pause the video and say the conversation yourself. Let's review. A noun is a person, place, or thing. A pronoun takes the place of a noun in a sentence. Nouns like Stephen or man will become he. Nouns like Claudia or woman will use the pronoun she. A handshake can be it. Stephen and I are we. Stephen and Alan are they. And when you speak to someone, that other person is you. Why do I review this again? We learned it in lesson one. It is important to the structure of sentences. Many sentences have a subject, and that subject, whether it's a person or a thing, is doing some action to an object or a person at the end of the sentence. By knowing how these parts function, it makes it easier to learn English. Another important part of English is knowing when something is singular or plural. Singular means one thing. Plural means two or more things, like one apple, two apples, one cat, two cats. Notice that we add an S and sometimes we add an ES to make most nouns plural. There are some other irregular nouns that change their form, like child becomes children. The more you read, the more you'll be able to recognize irregular nouns and their singular and plural forms. Now it's your turn. I want you to write the singular nouns as plural. Car, phone, house, office. And then write the plural nouns as singular. Desks, men, women, airports. Notice that men and women do not have an S. 
This means that they are irregular nouns. These are the words that you learned in this video. I want you to pause the video and write each of these words in your own language. If you don't know the meaning of the words, please go back into the video and listen for the words and listen how they are used in sentences. This is learning by context clues. You get context clues to a word's meaning from the other words in sentences or by the intended meaning of the sentence. Pause the video and write out these sentences with the correct word in the blank. Then say the sentences out loud. Did you fill in the sentences with the correct word? Let's go over your responses. I am, and then you write your name. I am Teacher K. I'm Teacher K. Nice to, what? Nice to meet you. What is your, what is your name? Did you get all of them correct? Thank you for visiting the Learn English Classroom. I appreciate your support. It really helps my videos if you like and subscribe to these videos. You will also be able to see the new videos when they first come out. Also, don't forget to check the description box under this video for your free worksheet. By adding your email, I will be able to help you and others by reviewing the responses and giving you new material so you can learn more English.